morning. It is currently 10 to 4 in the morning. And it is travel day. I've only slept about an hour, so I can say today is going to be a long day. And I can tell that I haven't traveled by plane in a long time. Um, because suddenly I'm like, okay, I've like forgotten what it what it entails to travel by plane. <laughs> it's not just, you know, jumping on a train and sitting on a train for four hours like I do when I travel to Stockholm. So yeah, it's gonna be a long day and um, not so excited for uh, all this traveling. But uh, yeah, hopefully everything goes okay. It's gonna be all security, security checks, all of that. And uh, I think it's like four hours traveling. Um, Waiting for my taxi now, then it's a bus to the airplane, and then one hour travel to Frankfurt, for like 90 minutes. Then it's a layover, and then from Frankfurt to Tel Aviv. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm basically so tired, I thought I would start my vlogging here. And hopefully this turns it into somewhat of an okay vlog. Um, so yeah, stick around to see what my journey and travels will show. <laughs> I'm so tired. If anyone wanted to see, this is my travel outfit. Comfy pants, comfy top, a jacket. Uh, yeah, ready to be comfortable for the long hours of sitting. And I can say, I am so nervous that I've forgotten something. I'm reminding myself that as long as I have my passport and boarding pass and all of that, it is fine. The rest I can buy if I have forgotten anything. Um, but yeah, I get so anxious that I've forgotten something, which I most probably have because I have no idea what I was supposed to pack for this trip. Uh, yeah, so we'll see if I've forgotten something important. Camera, phone, chargers, computer. Gotta check that I have my passport and all of that. Here we are. It's been a long day. Gonna check into my room now. Wow. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at this. Look at this bed. First thing I'm gonna do <laughs> It has been a day oh my gosh Whew. but i'm here i'm at the hotel sam and blondie um yeah i am feeling like a hot mess to say the least uh, wow look at this I need to shower, I need to freshen up, then we're going for dinner and I'm gonna try to take you along. Um, yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> Just a little check-in. I'm super hyped. Before I jump into the shower, get ready, I am gonna test the chocolate because this girl needs some chocolate. Four servings per container. You bet this is two servings. <laughs> or one. Let's do a little taste test. Creamy chocolate vegan treat with peanuts cream. Ooh, girl, I'm excited. Look at this. 
Can we turn off this music? Oh my gosh. Yum. Mmm. That is so good. Just what I needed. So I'm just waiting until it's 8 pm and we're gonna meet down in the lobby and go eat dinner. I am super hungry, so I am so ready for feast. Not so sure what's on the menu, but it's gonna be good, hopefully. Uh, I just had a little espresso shot and some chocolate because <sighs> the one hour of sleep is getting to me. Let me see if I can put my camera down. Like, this is my first time vlogging, <laughs> trying to, uh, I'm so used to just putting my camera on a, um, you know, stative uh, tripod and not really being able to move it, but now I found my vlog camera, so, so I wanted to talk about my travel. Uh, so as I either said in the previous video or before this, I haven't traveled by plane since 2016 uh, and uh, many reasons for it but I mean I need to say I actually had a lot more anxiety about traveling now than I expected I you know I thought I'd be super chill and all of that but like take off and landing and all of that and I did get these like <sighs> I got these feelings of like I wish I had like written to my family and that and just you know you know I'm thankful that you're my family and uh, all of that like it just of course it shouldn't be necessary because flying is safe and all of that but <laughs> it's like I did get these thoughts that I was like if something happens I really wish I had written a nice little message to my family so yeah if you're gonna buy fly by plane hopefully none of you are <laughs> but if you do, maybe you can write a little message to your family just in case. Um, yeah. Uh, what can I say about the travels? It was a long day, a lot of security, a lot of people and <laughs> my anxiety was on top with all the people and uh, yeah. But you know, deep breaths, I got through it, all of that and... That is enough talking because this video is going to be so long. Expect 25 minute vlogs, minimum. Uh, yeah. Now it's just a wait until we're going to meet for dinner. and oatmeal flour, uh, the base is cashew and it has squash and leek in it. Mm. Uh, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. We cook it in white wine for like two days, for a really long time. Um, and then there's the toffee glaze and hazelnuts and here we have our panna cotta, which is uh, soy milk and, what, and coconut. Sorry. <laughs> just destroyed everyone's photos. <laughs> there we go. Show me to do that one. Right, hang on, hang on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm tired. <coughs> so I am back in my hotel room now. I'm going to talk kind of quiet because. I think guests can hear each other. Um, and we had dinner at Bana in Tel Aviv, and the food was so so good. Uh, they focus on them, um, like that the vegetable is in the focus of the meal, and they use a lot of different spices and uh, different sauces and that to help, or like to compound the meal and. It was super amazing. I tried to film a little bit, which you will have seen. And um, yeah, it 
was so good and we even tried three different desserts. I don't know how many dishes we got in total, like over 10, maybe 15 different dishes and uh, unfortunately I can't remember what all of them uh, include or have, which is a pity. Um, like I wish I didn't film when she was saying what the food was. I should have done that because then I can recreate them at home. Um, but it was really, really good. Uh, and the food tastes like, like the vegetables taste different. Like they taste so much more fresh and compared to like in Sweden and all that. But what I wanted to talk about basically is <laughs> some of my thoughts, which I have right now. My face is so shiny because I put on a face mask. But anyway, basically I was thinking about, you know, my past with an eating disorder and a trip like this would never have been possible uh, because the, f the focus is food. The focus is that we're going to eat. We're going to try a bunch of different food, different places. It's going to be like a whole day of eating and... Also, no, like, no workouts. Uh, we There's no time for that in the schedule. Uh, of course, we'll be walking and things like that. In the past, this would never have been possible. Just the fact of sleeping away from home, not having control over food, not being able to exercise, uh, eating a bunch, all of that. And I just wouldn't have been able to do it. And I was just thinking about that, that I guess I'm just, like, proud of myself. <laughs> Maybe it sounds strange, but, like, I am. I'm proud of myself for how far I have come and that like I can do trips like this, that traveling away and experiencing new cultures, experiencing new things, uh, trying a bunch of different foods. Like I don't have any allergies and because this is a vegan food trip I know that the food I'm eating and being served is vegan so I don't really need to check it out so like the only thing I'm not going to eat is like if there's certain foods I really don't like. Like I didn't eat the mushroom dish which was served because I really don't like mushrooms and I just didn't feel like trying it. So yeah, like everything that we're kind of going to be served I know I can eat and enjoy and try and I'm really really looking forward to it. And it's just kind of the perks of food freedom I would say that you know, being able to do things like this, being able to travel, experience new things, try new foods. I guess basically I am just proud of myself and I want to inspire and encourage any of you who also struggle with food balance and struggling with fear foods and over-exercising that fight for recovery because it is worth it. To be able to like just live life and not have food or exercise control you or be the thing that hinders you that maybe you don't go on a work trip or maybe you don't go on a spontaneous trip with friends or whatever just because you can't control your food or exercise so yeah just a little don't let your eating disorder control you or <clears throat> control your life like you can fight for recovery and fight to find your balance with food because it is so worth it and to try new foods and yeah just kind of have balance and freedom with food now it is like quarter past 12 and I've been awake far too many hours I've been awake more than 24 hours now, so I really should be delirious by this stage. 